Pisces, I'm here for another Pisces reading today. As always, it's a general and timeless reading. It's not a personal reading. So just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. And if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com. Just a reminder that there is a coupon code for 33% off of the entire website. I am ready. So feel free to put that in the website for 33% off. And as always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out all right pisces we're gonna get right into it today maybe chickens may even mean something to you divine mother divine father holy spirit of god what do we have for and i feel like what it is is that actually spirit's really trying to get your attention about something divine mother and father holy spirit of god what do we have for pisces today the return a new story you decide alignment it's coming together what do we have for the return for pisces caution secrecy wary bottom of the deck is visions i'm gonna grab one more card what else do we have for caution secrecy wary and the return okay pisces and then we do have keep going on the bottom of the deck spirit wants your attention right now there's something or someone that is returning to you But it doesn't feel like they're coming in energy that's actually in alignment with you. We have refused to be used. Pull away from your fears and refuse to be a victim. You will never be happy if you don't end the toxic arrangements that imprison you. Love yourself. You deserve better. Okay, so yes, this person is returning or whatever this is, Pisces, for you. It's returning back to your life. But Spirit's asking you to refuse to be used, okay? I do feel like this is not in alignment and there's some sort of caution or wary about this person or whatever the situation is. All right, Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God for Pisces, why do we have refuse to be used, caution, and the return? Mm. They're not coming back emotionally available, Pisces. By King of Cups in Reverse. So it's like this person is going to give you some sort of offer, Pisces. They're going to want to work with you on something. They're not coming back emotionally available. Why Page of Pentacles? Why King of Cups in Reverse? Why Three of Pentacles? Pisces. If it sounds too good, it's because it's a lie, okay? Uh, we do have Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Pisces, what's coming through here is there's someone coming back into your life. It's some sort of emotional offer or someone that wants to work with you. Ten of Wands over here. All right? It's like this person is going to give you all of these promises and it's going to sound and look good. It's going to be exactly what it is that you want, Pisces. It's a Ten of Wands. You're going to end up doing all of the work yourself. And especially if this is a relationship or a connection, Pisces, you're putting in all of the emotional work. The other person's not going to. What's Pisces energy here? High Priestess, baby. <laughs> Pisces, you are the High Priestess over here. Follow your intuition. Um, this person is going to give a lot of promises. This person's going to say a lot of things. They, they cannot stand on anything it is, Pisces, that they're saying. You are the high priestess in this situation, Pisces, with this connection. So follow your intuition and don't allow this person to steer you from your intuition. This person... And what's coming through is like... I kind of want to say that they don't even know themselves, you know, where it's like they're giving, they're giving you these promises. For some of you, they love bombed you. All right, why High Priestess for Pisces? Yeah, be on your guard regarding this person. Be on your guard and just pay attention to yourself and your own foundation with the Seven of Pentacles. You are building something here and you don't need this person in order to do it. Now, who is this person to Pisces? Someone that has some sort of interest in you, but they're just a page. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Pisces, you're dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable. They cannot stick to the words and to the promise of the lovers. Look at that. So it's an emotional connection, Pisces. They cannot stick to the words. They cannot stand on their words or their promises, Pisces. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. All right, now why the Ten of Wands and the Three of Pentacles? You're being guided to distance yourself and turn your back away from this person, Pisces. Three of Wands over here. All right, so there might be some sort of separation, some sort of distance, or honestly, you're being guided to 
turn your back to this person because you're going to take on all of the emotional labor of this connection, this relationship. Now, how does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? Pisces, they feel like it's over. <laughs> I'm laughing because we have the Eight of Cups over here. You walked away, Pisces. You're turning your back to them. It's interesting, though, because it's like this person's emotionally unavailable, yet they're sad about you. All right, Five of Cups over here, the Death card. So they may be mourning also the loss of you or you walking away. And how does Pisces feel about this person? How does Pisces feel about this person? You feel like you see the truth for what it is. Two of Wands, Ace of Swords. Okay, Pisces, I see that you're not going to be worried about this person. Like, yes, you may feel whatever it is that you feel as far as emotions. 555, five, five. as soon as I say that, so you could be seeing the number 555. Five, five. You're moving forward to the new. And so I really do feel like you know you feel what you feel you're gonna alchemize it but i feel like you alchemize this pretty quickly pisces because i see you focusing on yourself and going into something new right after why two of wands with the ace of swords for pisces Ooh, pisces the universe has a gift for you pisces okay what i'm also hearing is like payback but not in the sense of like you know revenge or vengeful payback you did all the emotional labor in this relationship in this connection pisces this person gave you promises they love bombed you and i'm getting broken promises but i'm still hearing labor you put in work pisces and because you put in work and because you are pure you're going to be repaid you are receiving just this baby pisces just this card you will receive justice for whatever this person did. Uh, Ace of Wands over here. You're coming into realignment with your life purpose. Um, and you're getting a lot of clarity at this time in your... I wanted to say your connection, okay? So like in the connection too, but also in your life. You're about to receive a lot of opportunities, Pisces, that are in alignment with your life purpose. And this is justice for this pain that you went through with this person. All right, again, this person... <laughs> they gave you ten of pentacles promise yet they only had a page of cups and so justice is coming into your life pisces when it comes to this connection and what i'm hearing though is you are going to be repaid i'm getting paid back but not again not in a vengeful way god the universe is going to pay you back for any energy it is that you lost or that you gave away or was taken from you in this connection all right, now what's the advice for Pisces? Keep going, Pisces. Okay, I do see multiple options coming in for you. Why the Seven of Cups? Why the Seven of Cups? Pisces, yeah, there goes your energy, Queen of Cups. Uh, I And then the Hierophant over here. What I'm also hearing is a plethora of options, okay? The word plethora. You're going to have many options coming in for you. I feel like this is regarding work as far as... And then connections, too. All right, so work and connections, just all areas of your life. You're about to receive a lot of opportunities, Pisces. You are being repaid for the emotional labor that you put into this connection, for the energy that you gave away or the energy it is that was taken from you. It's divine judgment that Pisces over here, Queen of Cups, is going to be repaid. All right, so that's what I have for you. And I do have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is you being independently wealthy, you being stable and secure on your own. All right, I'm going to grab some cards of advice again if you'd like a personal reading a one-on-one -on -one personal session or kashik records you could go to 144 blue rose temple.com all right we do have release fear over here cleanse and heru which is horus okay so horus or the eye of horus may resonate with you you are also being guided to cleanse maybe it's cleansing this person's energy as well what else do we have for pisces for this reading yeah, for some of you, you're definitely being guided to cleanse. And we do have wind, okay? So just flow, be in the harmony of the here and now. Relax and be ready for the next surge of energy. So right now is a good time to rest, to heal from whatever that this was, to cleanse because there's a next surge of energy coming. And I do see you, like, you receiving a lot of opportunities. But the advice is to keep going with the Nine of Wands here. It's divine judgment that you're going to receive a lot of new opportunities and maybe even new people in your life, Pisces. And it does say, change your lifestyle okay so just take care of yourself at this time rest maybe some of you are detoxing changing your diet or cleansing what else do we have for 
Pisces. Reclaiming your authenticity, okay? And then we do have the call. Pisces, definitely call back your power from this connection. Uh, this person love bombed you. This person may have even promised you a commitment that they could not even stick to. All right. And so divine judgment that there's a lot of beautiful blessings and things that are coming into your life right now. Definitely refuse to be used by someone who cannot give back to you what it is that you can give. I do feel like you gave maybe, you know, for some of you could resonate that you gave your energy away or that this person took your energy. Call it back because there's a lot of things coming in for you, Pisces. I'm going to grab one more card of advice. Pisces, you're getting ready to see something you've never seen. As soon as you cleanse this person's energy from your energy field, Pisces, okay? We do have protection, boundaries, and clear communication. Have your boundaries. Communicate maybe clearly with this person if there's a conversation. And protect yourself because this person's only going to take your energy. They cannot give back to you what it is that you give to them. We do have the sun card. Joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, and play. Okay, so just... Be in the energies of joy, of peace, of harmony. Do things that make you feel happy, that raise your vibration, okay? We also do have success. So there's a lot of success coming your way, Pisces. If you're not seeing that or experiencing that in your reality right now, jump into that vibration raise your vibration do the things that make you feel good pisces definitely cleanse your energy from this person and again right we think about like reprogramming of abundance you put in work especially your emotions like pisces you are emotional that's the pisces energy pisces you're a healer okay 12th house healing spirituality the subconscious the unseen that it is that high priestess energy this you see more of this person than they see of themselves and so you have to trust yourself when it comes to this connection and this relationship they cannot give you the commitment it is that they're saying and you need to trust that okay but what is coming through is that you are going to be repaid by the universe for any energy it is that you gave away that you lost etc all right pisces so that's what i have for you i hope that it resonates i'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day